Back here at Ground Control, I'm here with Boris. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show a back take variation from full guard. Now there's gonna be a lot of different ways that we can get to the back from the full guard position. And this is just one similar to one of the setups that we had uh, in our sweep series. So we're gonna go right into that. So we're in full guard. And now I'm gonna establish my cross sleeve grip um, where I go towards my cat's paw, taking my thumb out and now working towards the lapel grip onto the same side. I lift my hips up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull Boris's arm across my center line, uh, and also break his posture, both by doing a reverse crunch and by pulling, doing a row motion onto his lapel. So as we pull across. Now the next thing is, so my arm comes out and I switch to the pistol grip, and now I look to straighten the arm and lock out my elbow. When I do this, I'm gonna bring my hand that was on the lapel off, and I'm gonna come right towards, uh, right towards his lat on the opposite side, head staying close. Now, I wanna work my hips first. So, Boris's base right now has wide knees. I want my hips to lift and line up with the knee on the side opposite of the direction I'm pointing, uh, or pushing his arm, extending his arm out. My head's gonna stay nice and tight to him. It's gonna be up for demonstration purposes, but uh, in live action, my head is gonna be nice and tight as we're working from here. What I'm gonna to look to do is I'm gonna to try to get my hand underneath his armpit and I try to grab finger entry right into his lapel. And the reason why I do that is I wanna control this shoulder. I feel like if I'm on the lat, his shoulder still has the ability to stay down. If I can get underneath to the lapel with my hand under the shoulder, I can really stretch. Um, we gotta think of his back as like a table, you know, it's a plane. I need to take it and rotate it uh, so that I can take control of it. So this is controlling one corner of the plane. Uh, as we do that, I'm gonna look to control the corner on the same side. We're gonna get into that now. So as I'm staying tight, my armpit is over top of his shoulder, and now this is where my guard releases, and I put my spur right into his far hip, and I dig it in nice and tight. Um, this, I'm gonna start opening the hip. That's not gonna be enough, so my other leg is gonna drop, and my foot's gonna be inverted. I'm gonna push off of my toes and just take little steps like I'm walking backwards into a circle until I can manipulate his, his body enough that I can get both hooks in and start working towards my back take. Now that we're in the back take, I have a good grip established. So we're gonna go into one finish from here. I'm gonna open up, we have a good separation between his, uh, his neck and his lapel. So I release the grip and I'm gonna put my thumb in as deep as I can get it. I'm not establishing my grip, until my hand meets resistance. So I'm not just grabbing, there's a lot of space that you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide my hand all the way up. Once I feel like I've met resistance, now I go to my grip. My hand on the other side is gonna come across and I reach just to maintain a grip on the opposite lapel. Now it's time to go for the finish. You see the position that we're in. My uh, tricep is on the mat. What I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna try to pull my arm out from underneath of me and get my forearm onto the mat as my shoulder puts pressure towards the back of the head. The way that I like to do this is I take my top hook out, I make sure my bottom hook is nice and engaged. I don't wanna lose it, so I really engage that hamstring. My top hook comes out, I'm gonna swing down. What that's gonna do, it's gonna create a counterbalance that takes weight off of my arm and allows me to pull this arm out from underneath. A lot of times they'll tap before the forearm even makes contact with the mat. All right, yep, cool. Um, so we'll show that one more time, the, um, the back take. So we establish our grips first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and break the posture, make sure that we extend his arm across my center line, line my hips up with the, the far thigh, uh, thigh opposite of the direction we're taking his arm, and now I get good control of his lap. My head's gonna stay nice and tight uh, in real time for this. So from here, I start working my hips out slowly. I still have my guard locked, and I like to work my hips out until I feel his shoulder drop down to the mat and my armpit is over top. So if his shoulder is up, I'm not trying to take the back just yet. I wanna start inching my body until I can get that shoulder down towards the mat. Now we're gonna start looking for our finish. My hand that's on the lat is gonna slide under, and I'm gonna to try to get a grip onto the lapel right underneath the shoulder, not low with it. I want my hand under the shoulder so we can control that corner of the plane. Once I'm tight and I feel like I've opened it up, my spur on the top hook goes right into his hip and that's gonna start opening up and my power source is gonna be my leg on the opposite side 
having an inverted, inverted foot as my toes go towards the mat, and I start walking backwards, small steps in a circle. Now we can look to control the back. We have both of our hooks in. Now it's time to move on to the finish. I do another stretch, closing my elbow off to my ribs to create separation and expose a lot of the target. As we do this, I can release my grip. My thumb enters. I don't grab right away. I'm going to go ahead, open up the lapel, and my thumb's going to slide all the way up. I try to get my hand at least to the ear on the opposite side. Now my grip's established. I still have good head position, and my hand is going to come across, and I grab the lapel onto the other side. This doesn't have to be super deep. You want it high. It doesn't want to be super low with it, but it doesn't. we don't need to inch it up any from here. Now that I'm tight with it, my top hook comes out. We're going to swing down to create that counterbalance. That's going to take weight off of my arm, and I try to slide my elbow out from underneath. When we do this, we want to make sure that we have good shoulder pressure to the back of his head the entire time. If my shoulder's out and I start working up, it's not going to be nearly as tight. My shoulder's working as a block, and my arm coming out from underneath starts tightening the choke. So one more time with it. Make sure that... We have good grips, leg comes out, it's our counterbalance. We're gonna swing it down, chopping it, coming out and then getting our forearm down towards the mat. That's a back take uh, and finish variation from the full guard.